Welcome back. Now, whether it is the blockbuster hitting the big screen or the latest DVD released, our entertainment reporter has us covered. He always does. Jim Ferguson is here with us today to talk about the good life. Jim, welcome. Well, thank you, guys, and Happy New Year, first you of all. Too. It Year. seems strange to be here on a Friday live with you. I know. Usually it's, it's taped at yes. this time. We would have you Because I'm day. in L.A., right? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we have a very heartwarming movie. As uh, Tina just said, it opens on DVD Blu-ray today. Uh, being released. Uh, it's a strange story, a long one. I'll make it real short. A couple of months ago, I went to Nashville for the world premiere of The Good Lie. And we were all excited about it. As you mentioned, Reese uh, had a lot to do with this movie, and she took her daughter to the Sudan uh, and part of, uh, the re of her research in, in putting this movie together. Unfortunately, I don't know what happened because it was produced by Ron Howard, but it only opened in several markets. It opened in Phoenix, but Warner Brothers requested that I hold these interviews that I did uh, for DVD Blu-ray release, which I did, and I'm glad we have them to share with our uh, audience right now. Uh, we did these interviews with groups of three, and as you guys know, that's hard to do when you have five minutes to talk to all of them. Um, most of the discussion is Ger Duaney, who was a lost boy. This is the story of the lost boys. The terrible civil war in Sudan in 1983, these thousands of these kids walked miles and mi hundreds of miles for safety. And then 13 years later, 1996, America had a humanitarian effort and brought a lot of these lost boys and girls to the United States. So here's my interview with, uh, I believe, the, uh, one of the consulars uh, and one of the lost girls and, of course, Gard Duaney, who does most of the talking in this threesome interview. Well, Gar, Sarah, and Molly, good to see you all under Thank these you. circumstances about to talk about a wonderful film, The Good Lie. You know, I was always taught, Molly, that there's no such thing as a good lie. <laughs> but would you agree with me after audiences, thousands of them see this movie, they may change their opinion about that statement? Absolutely. I think, um, you know, Margaret Nagel, who wrote the screenplay, did such a beautiful job of this metaphor of the good lie. You know, you really don't see, you know, how the story is going to unfold. You don't see it coming. And obviously the metaphor with Huck Finn, it's so beautifully woven oh, into the yeah. screenplay. Yeah. So I do, I do think people will, you know, it'll, it'll touch them. I almost forgot about that, so I gotta go see it again. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and Gary, were, were you a lost boy? Were you part of this program? You were born in South Sudan. Yes, I was born and raised in South Sudan, and when the Civil War broke out, I was about seven years old. So oh. I was among the kids that really left by foot to Ethiopia in 1987. I spent a lot of time in Ethiopia, and then in Ethiopia, they have their own Civil War that we got caught in it, and we had to come back to South Sudan in 1991. Mm. So I gambled a lot, and I went right back to the same place. <laughs> <laughs> and then I ended up in the state in 1994. So yes, I was among those guys. When you watch the film, any tears a little bit? When I read the script. I did. When I read the script, yes, a lot of tears. <laughs> a lot of tears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was exactly what I made, needed it because I had to revisit the past. Mm -hmm. And there's no another way to do it but to a full film like this one. Okay, I know we have a, to get into this real quick. We have three more. Uh, an, another lost boy, Arnold Oseng. Uh, who's very, very good in this film. And uh, Margaret Nagel is the, I believe I have that right. Yeah, Margaret Nagel is the screenwriter. Now watch this bite with her because she goes into tears talking about getting this movie made. Here they are. Well, Kaluth and Margaret and Arnold, congratulations on such a beautiful film. I can't wait till I see it again. I really do mean that. Thank you. Arnold, I was raised to believe there's no such thing as a good lie. That's what my grandmother would say. No such thing as a good lie. Would you agree with me that maybe after you see the movie, yeah. The Good Lie, you may change your opinion about that statement? A hundred percent. I was raised the same way, you know, never to lie. But, you know, the good thing, the beautiful thing about this film is that it teaches you that the good, the good lie is basically a lie to, to benefit or to help someone else. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the great theme in this film is, is, is faith and family and that's the theme that runs through the whole film so if it's all about looking after your your brother mm -hmm. or looking after your friend and and if that if that entails you you, you may you say a lie to, to help them in the best way then so so be it really. so be it yeah. right yeah. 
Margaret, you had such passion to make this film. Why? Because of those very reasons. Um, oh, I'm getting, it's just, it's hard to talk about. I just yeah. wanted to get this made so badly. And um, I believed in this story so much and I believed in these kids, these people, and they'd survive, you know, what they had to survive and, and how they did survive. And I felt that was such an important story to pay tribute to. Mm -hmm. And and we are we're low on heroes right now. Oh, so touching, Jim. Wasn't that touching? Yeah. And it what a great film to to rent this movie, The Good Lie, which is being released today on DVD Blu-ray. I highly recommend it. Tuesday, when I'm back with you guys, we have Tina Fey, Jason Bateman, and Jane Fonda for This Is Where I Leave You. Some biggies also coming out on DVD Blu-ray. Oh, I really want to see that one. So do I. Yeah, I love Tina Fey. She's, she's, she's hilarious. A hoot. <laughs> she, she is, is. a hoot. <laughs> Jim, of course, we'll look forward to uh, talking to you on Tuesday. Always, guys. Thanks so much Always. for coming, Jim. Yes. You're welcome.